data fetching. You can do it on the client side or the server side. Let's talk about the differences. Next.js is a server first framework, which means all of the components that you're making are automatically a server component unless you specify it to be a client component. And that is by using the use client directive. You usually create a client component if you need to use React hooks like use effect or use state and the like, because these hooks cannot be called on a server component. For example, let's put in a use effect hook on this component. And basically this use effect runs whenever this component is mounted. As you can see here, once I refresh this page, that console log is printed out. So how do you fetch data on the client side? We need to use the use effect and use state hooks, as you can see here. This is usually fine if the endpoint doesn't require any authorization. What if there is authorization? You don't want the browser to show those tokens or else it is a security risk. To resolve this, we usually create a route that runs on the server. Here, I have a route.tsx file and I have a get method that calls the same endpoint and returns the same output. Once we've created that route, you can use that instead. But since this is on the server side, you can put the tokens on here. That is how you do data fetching on the client side. Let's talk about server side fetching now. Prior to Next.js 14, you can fetch data on the server component using the get static props and get server side props methods. Now with Next.js 14, they've implemented a more direct approach. We don't have to use the methods I just mentioned anymore. We can just call it directly on the server component. As you can see on the screen, I've added that fetch on the server component. So if I refresh a sample page, which is now using the server component, we should get the same results. Now, if you want to reuse the route that we just created for the client side, you can, but you would have to put the full address when you are doing data fetching on a server component. And that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure that when you are fetching on the client side, you're not exposing any tokens. And if you're going to fetch on the server side, call the fetch function directly on the server component. I'll see you on the next video where we'll be talking about data mutations.